more Penn State sports have officially started up. So with that, it's time for another update. Hello everyone and welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm Logan Barandis alongside Amanda Vogt and let's get started. Starting on the ice, Penn State men's hockey opened up its season with a two-game sweep over the Canisius Golden Griffins. The blue and white came out firing on Friday with a 5-2 win as all five goals were scored by a different player. The most notable goal was a power play goal from North Dakota transfer Ashton Calder to get the night started. That attack was followed up with a 7-5 win the next day. This time around, it was the returning players who stole the show as Ryan Kerwin scored twice, while Kevin Wall came away with a four-point night that featured a goal that made its way onto the SportsCenter Top 10 plays list. Freshman goaltender Noah Grannon also made his debut in the game at net and came away with 28 saves. Penn State will play a home-at-home -home against Mercyhurst next week. Penn State women's soccer improved their conference record to 3-2-1 after beating Maryland 2-0 on the road. The victory snapped a two-game losing streak. Catherine Asman, who was named Big Ten Goalkeeper of the Week on September 25th, had four saves for the blue and white. This marked the seventh clean sheet for the redshirt senior. Offensively, all eight of Penn State's shots were on goal. In the 21st minute, net midfielder Natalie Wilson found the back of the net for her first career goal as a Nittany Lion. Maryland had a few chances on some set pieces later in the half that they were unable to capitalize on, including a goal that was called back for offsides in the 45th minute. Several fouls were committed by Maryland, which increased Penn State's opportunities throughout the match. Ali Schlegel had a penalty kick saved by the Maryland goalkeeper early in the second half. In the 52nd minute, Olivia Smith took a free kick from just outside the box, and Corey Dyke found herself with the ball and hammered one to the far post, putting the Nittany Lions up 2-0. Late saves by Asman solidified the win, and now the Blue and White will return to Jeffrey Field this week for their last two home games of the regular season against Wisconsin and Michigan. Speaking of Penn State soccer teams beating up on the Big Ten, the Penn State men's soccer team cruised by the Michigan State Spartans with a 4-1 win on Friday. All four Penn State goals were scored in the first half of play, with Liam Butts finding the back of the net twice, with both goals coming within four minutes of each other. Reigning Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year, Peter Mangione scored the first goal of the match, while Van Danielson picked up the last one right before the end of the half. While the Spartans got one back at the end of the second half, it wasn't enough to mount a comeback over, over the Nittany Lions, who were on cruise control throughout most of the second half. With the win, the Blue and White remained undefeated in conference play, with two wins and two draws. They travel to take on Indiana on Friday and will be a rematch of last year's conference championship game, which was won by Penn State. This past weekend, Penn State women's volleyball both won and lost. On Friday, the Blue and White traveled to play number 6 ranked Ohio State. After being down two sets, Penn State rallied back to win the next two, but in the fifth one, they were unable to overcome the Buckeyes. In the effort, Kashana Williams led the team with 20 kills, and Allie Holland, along with Taylor Trammell, had five blocks. The Nittany Lions bounced back on Sunday at Rec Hall after sweeping Illinois in three sets. Maddie Bilinovic had 12 digs, and Allie Holland had another five blocks in the victory. The blue and white is ranked fifth overall, averaging 2.92 blocks per set. The Nittany Lions sit on a 14-3 record with about a month and a half left to go in the regular season. In the American Volleyball Coaches Association, they rank 13th. This weekend, Penn State heads back to the road to face Nebraska on Friday and Iowa Saturday. Now, Logan, with all these games this week, which one are you looking forward to the most? Well, Penn State men's hockey fans asked for a hot start, and they got one this past weekend. So really looking forward to see how they follow that up against Mercyhurst this week. And in pro sports, a battle between three and two teams at Lambeau Field, Jets and Packers facing off. How about you? I'm also looking forward to the return of Penn State football when they go to Michigan and then, of course, the Jets on Sunday. Well, that's a wrap of this week's update on Penn State Sports Night. For Logan Barandis, I'm Amanda Vogt. Have a great night. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning into this edition of Penn State Sports Night. We hope you liked that segment. And we're sure there's other Penn State Sports Night segments that you are going to love as well. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And check us out on social media for updates and behind-the-scenes clips and pics. Follow us on Twitter at PSSNTV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. For all of us here at the Belisari Media Center, we are Penn State Sports Night.